Good evening, this is the Mystic Kitten. My name is Michelle and we're here to do the April Quick Hits. Please like, subscribe, and share the channel so that we can reach a broader audience. I'm so grateful to all of my subscribers. This little channel is growing and the community energy is so amazing. So, moving on with Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you know the drill. Flip it, flop it, toss it, turn it, take it any way you want it. But if it does not resonate, leave it and I'll catch you in another video. All right, let's see where your energy is at right now, and then we will um, pull some oracle, and then we'll do the reading kind of a little bit more fluently. All right, nine cards for Sagittarius. Quick check-in, energies, April 2021. Sagittarius, April 2021. Four more cards, please. All right, that's how they came out. That's how I'll read them. Moonology. Moonology for Sagittarius, April 2021, please. Daily healing for Sagittarius. And energy oracle. Can I get one energy oracle? Thank you. All right, let's get right into it, Sag. In your immediate or in your past energy, you have the tower the magician and patience, the eight of pentacles. So shit kind of fell apart. Um, the tower is something that happens out of the blue. It happens when you're not expe expecting it and it, it, it shakes you up, but it also puts you in this place of um, manifestation. It was a very eye opening experience or situation for you. It made you really realize what you needed to be patient on, what you needed to work on and where you needed to go from there. Um, do remember that a tower has to fall in order for a rebuild to happen. So towers are not always a bad thing. It's just that they're unexpected and they do impact. In your current energy, you have the Ace of Sword and Earned Success, the Six of Swords. You're moving towards your success. You're taking this new opportunity or this new information that you've got, this new drive. You're cutting away the shit that doesn't matter. You're trying to see the forest from the trees and move towards that success and that um, at like end game. And in your immediate future, you have the King of Pentacles, the Sun, Wealth, and the Lovers. So, some of you may be dealing with a Gemini. Some of you may be dealing with Leo. You could also have that in your chart. And so, this is just a confirmation that this reading is for you or there's something here for you. Um, the Knight of Pentacles tells me that you really do start to come into your own. You start to really take care of your shit. With that being said, that puts you in a place where you're far more abundant and you're feeling more empowered and you're feeling happier within. Therefore, you're seeing the happiness around you. You can acknowledge that. As soon as you in, as soon as you invite that light into your life, it actually does manifest that perfect ending that you were hoping for, that like that wealth gain in in the 3D world. Um, and the lovers are here to tell you that either you are sharing this with somebody and you have to make a decision on where you want that relationship to go, or it's telling you that you have to make a decision between where you're going to, what you're going to do with your money, where you're going to go with your money. If you're going to focus, continue to focus on the money, but there is a decision that's going to have to be made and it is a black and white decision. It's not something that you can be fluffy with. It is, it is not gray. It is do or do not. There are no, there's no waiting it out or seeing what happens. You will come to a crossroads. And if you do not make a decision, the universe will make it for you, which will inevitably bring you right back to the beginning of this cycle. And you'll find yourself in a tower moment all over again. All right. So advice from the universe. Advice, please. Can I get... Oh, that's a lot, but that's okay. It's not that many. It felt like a lot more, but I think it's only three. 
Okay, so their advice is stop sitting up at night and worrying about the things you cannot change. You need to move forwards with haste and find your inner um, passion and move forward with that. We've got the nine of swords up at night, worrying, trying to solve things that are not in your control. We've got the eight of wands, quick movement, and we've got the knight of wands, Move towards your passions. Stop thinking about the things you can't fix. You can't fix them. Let them go. If there's something that you need to let go of in order for you to be able to stop sitting up at night, make that peace. Pull that skeleton out of that closet. Give it a good shake. Say, bitch, I'm done with you and let that shit go. All right. And your moonology for April is nothing is yet set in stone. Manipulable moon. Remember, free will is a thing, guys. You take too long, things go away. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. That's coming into your own strength. And surrender to the divine. Full moon. Your daily healing is in the moment, if you can. Remove your, your judgment and criticism and truly listen to someone. You will empower them. And your energy oracle is healer of the ages. You need to really take time to check into self and heal yourself. There are, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, pull the shit out of the closet and the skeleton's got to go. It's causing you issues. It's time to clean that closet out. Take those skeletons out. Do the shadow work. Do what you need to do to be able to release that because it's going to start causing you problems in all of your fa all facets of your life. I can feel it. These tower moments are just going to keep coming because this is the divine telling you it's time. It is time to clear out energetically so you can welcome new things in. All right, guys, I hope that this meets you with love and light. And until we meet again, blessed be. Good night.